Hi guys, morning. It's actually not morning. Let me just open this to let in some light. Oh my god, my eyes hurt. My eyes hurt so much. I didn't sleep. So, I'm that kind of girl who, for one, is scared of a lot of things and dreams with things. <laughs> So like I'm the kind of person who does not watch horror movies or horror series because I literally dream with them. So yesterday I was watching literally YouTube videos of, I think I was watching Ayamara and they were just around this compound and they were killing snakes. They killed a snake and I watched that video yesterday morning around midday and I kind of forgot about it and then at night the vision is coming back to me and now I'm just thinking about snakes and that's the thing with me and after that minus the snakes I was also okay it was just one snake but my mind kind of amplifies stuff like that and then I also started watching other videos and they were very inspiring to me and my mind wakes up I think I should stop watching inspirational content at night because then my mind wakes up and it wants to go into overdrive and get started immediately <laughs> So I didn't sleep. Now my eyes hurt. I tried to sleep in like I just randomly because I slept at around five. I randomly woke up at eight and I tried to force myself to just sleep. So now I've been in bed for like three, four hours, just in bed. I was um premiering, uploading some content for you guys. And then I just wanna get in the shower and feel normal. You know, I have a pimple here, man. Anyway, I want to get in the shower and take a hot shower and try and feel normal. I can't go back to sleeping. If I feel sleepy, maybe late afternoon. Okay, it's 1 p.m. <laughs> but I might take a nap. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're planning to hang out with me, please know that one, I can't watch horror movies. I am a scared cat. <laughs> I literally dream with them. I remember my sister used to be so angry with me when we were kids because I'd force myself, like, I'd want to watch what she was watching and I'd want to watch those horror movies, knowing very well that I won't sleep at night and I will disturb her the whole night. So she will be so mad at me. Why are you watching those things and you know you can't sleep? <laughs> God. And I'm still like that. Till now. At my current age, I'm still scared of horror movies and I still dream with things. Like, I think I am such an imaginative person, man. My imagination is on another high. So that's why I just... It affects me so much, but I should also learn to not take things to heart like that. It's crazy. Are you like me? Do you dream of things you've watched? And I even dream of... Like, I can literally conceptualize or form imagery of books I read in my mind. So there's this book I had started reading. I really, really wanted to read it. This one is called Rough Treatment. I had started reading it, but then it's it's a crime book and some guys were breaking into a lady's home and all that. And I remember the first one week I would read it and then I would go to bed and just form all these images in my head and dream it's my home that's being invaded and I'm the one who's being kind of tortured and all that and I stop reading it. Like that is how serious this thing is man. What about you guys? Do you experience that? Can you watch horror movies? Can you read horror? And imagine it's no more crime. Like that's what I'm telling you I'm a softy. I'm such a mushy mushy person. Anyway, let me take a shower and I really didn't want to do this vlog. Honestly, I just wanted to stay in bed and cry about the fact that I can't sleep and try to maybe watch something again. But then I said, we have to work, man. I'm trying to create more content. So I have to drag myself out of bed. So let me take a shower and hopefully I'll be looking better afterwards. Catch you then, guys. Home girl is now ready for the world. I just showered. I'm repeating this shot. I literally wore it yesterday night, so it's very clean. So you guys don't say, oh, that one is a dirty shirt. Yeah, I just wore it last night. It's very clean. I had to iron it a bit because it was looking so creased. But now, I'm ready to face the day. It's two anyway, so it is almost over, but one day at a time. 
um guys first of all how do i look i think i look great i haven't done anything to my hair because there's nothing i'm not going anywhere i wanted to shop I don't have groceries. I wanted to go and buy some groceries, but I don't want to go anywhere today. I just want to stay home. I never want to go anywhere. <laughs> and I always find an excuse to just stay in. So, uh, yeah, I'll be in today. I have a bit of work to do. But yeah, that's me, guys. Oof, 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 oof. I really miss dancing. You guys know that. Do you know that I really, really love to dance? Uh, mm, mm, mm. there's no music right now and i can't play music here but i think i look great and i'm adding more weight i think i'm adding weight this thing has started to become a bit tight which means i'm adding weight i'm one of those people who really really struggles to add weight i had to pray to god and fast to add this weight i was stuck at 45 kg so I do not like losing weight. I don't enjoy it. I don't have that as a health goal or anything because I want to maintain this weight and I've been losing it since my predicament. But I feel like right now we're coming back. Okay. Viewers discretion is advised. Yeah. For this next part. So if someone who's below 18 years old is watching, pause. Close your ears. <laughs> I've warned you. Don't come at me. Um, so, tell me why I have to listen to people having sex. You what? Tell me why I have to be an audience to that. So, yesterday morning, I was waking up with noises and I didn't know what they were at first. So I'm like, what is that noise? I can't sleep. And then, you see, when you wake up, you're a bit disoriented. So when I caught up, wait a minute. Am I audience to people waiting? Yeah, so there was morning and a lot of it. You what? And it did go on for a couple of minutes. And I could literally hear. <laughs> Imagine if I didn't know any better, I'd think the people are just next to me. That is how loud it was. And I'm like, oh my god, why do I have to go through this? Yeah. I'm a bit disturbed by that, you know. I am not against people having sex. I am not against people making noise while having sex. I did not go to their door and tell them to stop. I will not do that. One, I just don't know why whoever built this place didn't take that into consideration. Like, I feel like whoever built these rooms had zero regard for human decency. Like the places, I mean, don't get fooled. It does look pretty, but don't judge a book by its cover because um, all the trash is hidden behind the beautiful looks. So the place is beautiful, but human decency, zero. So ideally here, people are supposed to live one person per room. So it's like one tenant, but obviously it's not like everybody's single. People are obviously out there living their lives. Obviously they're not married. If they were married, they wouldn't be living here, but they have partners and all. So you do expect people to... Oh! But I don't know why other tenants have to be the audience to that. But then I don't really blame them. I blame the person who did not take that into consideration when he or she was kind of putting this place together. They should have done better insulation. So I don't have to hear people. I was woken up by it. Like early morning. I can't wait for the day that I move out of this studio flat. In fact, if you don't hold me, I will throw a party. When that day comes, if you don't stop me, guys, I'm going to throw a big party when I get a flat that is not anything like this. Because, bruh, of all the things I have to keep up with and tolerate, now we have to tolerate that. Haters will say I'm jealous. I'm not jealous. I just don't want to hear anybody 
doing anything, even me when I'm doing my business, I'd rather be behind closed doors and nobody is hearing me. I mean, I know it's loud and all, but it's private for a reason. Okay, and yeah, I don't know. That's that. That's that. I'm so compelled to just book a ticket and go back home because all this madness is sometimes it gets to me too much. Although, lately, I'm trying to be as positive as possible, so uh, I'm kind of being very. Mm, don't care as far as whatever is happening here is concerned but some things like that that is new anyway now 18 years old can come back to watching the video i gave you a warning i just wanted to share that because first i find it very funny and secondly i don't know you know they're breaking my virginity you know my ears virginity you see me i'm a good girl I believe in God, I'm a prayerful girl, you know, I, I distance myself from, I mean, that is a joke, I'm not a good girl, I'm just a girl, but yeah, I like to keep my ears pure, you know, at least for as long as I'm here, if I'm gonna hear anything like that, it's gonna be something, anyway, let me stop talking about this before I say something I will regret. <laughs> <laughs> Is the world crazy or not? Is the world crazy or not? <laughs> oh my dear lord. Um, but yeah, that was yesterday. Just thought I'd share that. You know what? I need food. I'm gonna order something. You know, by the way, when I order takeout, I don't like take fast foods. Like, you guys, I'm so tired of chicken. I do not want to see fries um, near me. Uh, I think something, but the thing I want to order has fries. But ideally, I'm just ordering food. Food yesterday, I ordered from the Caribbean restaurant I usually order from, and I ordered sweet potato chips. I love sweet potato chips. I make sweet potato chips when I'm cooking, when I want to. But um, yesterday, I did want to cook. I was having a very lazy day so okay i was recording content yesterday for my main channel so i just ordered in um i ordered a dumpling um beef party my first time having beef party maybe next time when i order such i'll try and record a reaction to that um dumpling beef party my favorite fried plantains and sweet potato chips but I don't like the sweet potato chips. I ate everything else yesterday today. I'm left with sweet potato chips. I'm gonna show you how they look. I don't like them. So the sweet potato chips I ordered. I don't know. I'm not used to seeing why do they look so orange? I feel like they were not fried well or stuff like that. They're not crunchy the way I like them. So I I'm gonna eat them. I hate I just can't stand bad food. So today I will, I usually have a regular, there's something I usually order mostly on Sundays. I said I work hard, so if I can't have even some peace and quiet, and if I have to listen to people, if I have to keep up with all that, then at least I can give myself some semblance of soft life by, you know, being takeout when I don't want to cook and when I've had long days. So, I mean, that's all I can have right now. So that's, I don't have to beat myself up about that. Of course, I don't want to order every day. I told you guys I'm trying to cut down on that, but lazim will begin with the folly. Sometimes you have to just treat yourself a bit. Obviously, eating is not treating yourself, but there's something I usually order. Loaded fries and onion rings. I miss onion rings. There's this restaurant that has amazing, amazing onion rings and loaded fries and yeah, and chill a bit, you know, watch some videos after because you guys, my, I need to kind of pack my mug and then ship it for repair. It has an issue and I received this box <laughs> like a month ago because I reported the issue like a month ago and I was supposed to kind of um, send it in for repair and I've been holding on to it for almost one month but today it goes so not today tomorrow so today I just want to kind of um, back up my stuff delete the data from there put it in my hard drive make sure it's clean and accessible and all that and then i put it in this box and 
I will send it in for repair. I'm not worried about that because I have two laptops and both of them work. So I'll just go back. To, I've been using the Mac predominantly for a while now, but whatever I do, I can always do it from my other machine. So I'm not worried about that. I just have to um, finish some tasks. I have premiered some vlogs for you guys. I'll be premiering more vlogs. So I hope I'll build a community of premier people. This is here, other creators calling them premier gun. So I hope I'll build a community of like, you know, people who just want to watch the premieres and maybe in future I'll get moderators <laughs> for this channel, for the premieres on this channel and all that. But yeah. The closest of premiere is like a week from now. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy the content I'm creating for you guys. We are done with my UK husband topic. We are so done. Don't wanna talk about it anymore. I hope you guys are okay with that because I'm not gonna be talking about that topic any longer. Time to move on with my life and experience life and I feel like I need to throw myself into some deep end figuratively actually i think i need to order the food first i'm so hungry wait is sunday like a family day i used to think in the uk saturday is the family day like i remember when i was used to live in bristol like the place was a ghost town on sunday even shops were closed and all but on saturday the place was very busy so i'm just wondering is saturday the family day or sunday okay i can say family out anyway let me order food first and then I'll explain what I mean by diving into the deep end. I just made my order for food. Oh, let me tell you about what I wanted to tell you. So, you're probably wondering, will Tess be doing all her vlogs from her flat? And the answer is no. <gasps> my own face is on the screen. Okay, let me move back a bit. The answer is no. I do not plan to do all my vlogs from my home. It's just that right now I'm kind of trying to... You see, I have two channels. The other one is not like this. The other one includes doing research, writing scripts, recording audio and stuff like that. This one is a bit more different. It's lifestyle. So I need whatever I do. Both channels need to be catered for. There's also another part of the business where I told you guys I'm working on something else. There's a website I'm supposed to use, but it's not been working for the past three days and I've sent support messages to fix it. And they've been telling me they'll fix it. But once they do, I'll be ready to share with you what I have been working on. So there's that and I can't wait to share with you. And I also need to update my website and to just add more products. So there's all that and that requires me to kind of be seated at my desk and work on it that's why i'm doing these vlogs from the house also the fact that i do not like to go outside is hindering most of my movement i just i like to stay home not the kind of person I, I, I am but i want to jump into the deep end in that i want to kind of put myself or try something that i'm not comfortable with probably do some more adventure you know give this channel some more life and i'm thinking being outside and doing things is gonna do that so being outside in itself is a challenge for me so that will be a big leap but i'm thinking of doing that but now i don't know exactly what to do do i like start traveling you know i'm inspired i see people like ayamarwa and his sister dimwango and wodemaya and miss trudy and african traveler like I do watch all those content creators, this Tayo Aina, I watch all of them and they inspire me, you know, they travel a lot and all that. And really I've been feeling maybe I should try something like that. Though I know me and those people are very, very different in terms of personality. Like I told you guys, I am an introvert. But I feel like I have been evaluating that in the last week and I feel like I'm just scared of people and it's not because people are bad or anything, it's because I have this thing the childhood trauma or childhood programming where I need to be perfect. You know, I'm so scared, oh will I do the right thing? Will I say the right thing? And if for instance I meet someone and something goes wrong or I say the wrong thing or I'm 
do something wrong or something embarrassing I'll beat myself up about that for a very long time because I expect myself to always be perfect um I think that is something I got from my childhood where I love my mom very much but she was a no nonsense person and I was always the child who was doing what they are told like you know my sister is more adventurous and all that me if you tell me sit down don't move and literally sit there and not move and so I told you guys my life was all about my mom and just went on my family just went to make people happy and all that does that mean I'm a people pleaser no I'm not a people pleaser and so I did work a lot to just make sure I am perfect in that I am getting perfect grades I'm doing everything as I'm supposed to do so I'm always used to being right and being perfect and what really stops me from going outside into the world and enjoying and all that is because I'm afraid what if I do something wrong you know what if they don't like me or because I'm so used to being perfect and right and all that I do struggle to be honest I do struggle a bit when when I do something that is not right or when I am not perfect so sometimes I get very very anxious when I'm going into social settings do you know there are instances where i feel like i will pass out i'm hyperventilating like there are instances even when i'm like interacting with people it's like i'm on autopilot i can't think my mind just goes blank so me i'm not even the kind of person to argue with people face to face like if you say something hurtful to me i will just stand and stare because it's like everything goes out the door and now my mind can function so when i'm thinking about out the content i'm like will i manage Like, these people they look like extroverts that they talk with people i care about that when i think about going outside my comfort zone i also worry about that like am i really will i can i should i and i'd love to hear sometimes i try to find stories of these people before to see whether they were like actually like we all scared and stuff if they're introverts and all so maybe i can have some hope and all yeah but that really scares me as far as outdoor content is concerned but i really really love to step out of my comfort zone and maybe travel i'm not like a travel enthusiast honestly but you're never too old to try something new you know or to love something different so i really do want to literally like make a dive and do something i thought i'd never do like i'm good at that but i'm usually good at that when it comes to professions um skills and all that um social settings social stuff and that's gonna be new for me so i don't know what you guys think drop me a comment and let me know what you guys think do you think i'll manage i'd really love to i don't know whether now to start maybe fast traveling in england you know just traveling around england and going to scotland and maybe in northern ireland you know just start small or maybe go back to kenya and travel around kenya fast i don't know where to start so i can think about going outside now even going outside scares me so much because i'm like oh my god what about clothes how many suitcases do i need oh my god will, sh- will my shoes fit what if i go to a country like iceland will all my heavy coats fit in the bags and pillow box so i'm like oh my god how many bags how many clothes how many shoes how many like i'm like how do these people do it because me i'd plan for like six months i buy clothes for six months shoes i love so much luggage i would even be able to move around <laughs> what about the weather what about my face will the weather affect my face what if i start getting pimples um oh my god what if i don't find my face products where i go and all that you know i'm so used to comfort and all so yeah they start like i need even if it's not traveling let me know if you have any ideas of any of dozy content that i can do that doesn't require me to be so bold i love those people they just inspire me so much i watch them and i'm like go you no you do you go you're doing great um yeah and they wanna even do more for me as well what's your advice what are your thoughts on this matter would you like content like that? i really look good my god i don't know what it is today but i feel so good and i look so good even though i haven't slept but let me know what you think guys i'm waiting for my food i'm gonna chill watch a video or two but first i need to transfer my files to my hard drive my food is here let me go get it
see me living in this space is really very funny because I keep relocating my stuff. <laughs> they had an offer. Buy one, get one free. This is the loaded fries I usually order, but they've kind of changed the packaging. I really hope it's good. Morena, morena linda, cuando se mueve todos saben lo que va a pasar. changed and now the food is still good but it has too much oil today but it's still good fanta orange is literally my favorite no fanta lemon is my favorite i never saw this in kenya though fanta lemon i'm sitting in kenya now i love i love it Normally I order corn and the berry wages, but I order this people, this buy one get one free is literally a dupe. Because now the amount is smaller. Normally I'd get like two together. So just one now they've kind of divided. We have of buy one, get one free. Anyway, the food is good. Always. For someone who is usually very excited to see food, I really don't eat much, so I have... Okay, let me show you. I need to turn this card. What is it? So I ate... This is the first box. I ate like half. That is as much as I could um, get into my tummy. But today it has so much oil. Can you see that oil? The pattern there. Too much oil. I do not like um, a lot of oil. That's why I'm trying to avoid takeouts. So I have this and this one left. Then I have these three. I haven't touched any of these. I have to eat one by one. I'm not a glutton. So I have food for today, tomorrow. Yeah, thank God. Let me know how you usually feel after food. Me, I usually feel like a fool. My mom used to say, when you get full, you become stupid. Okay, so I feel like I should end the vlog here. The sun is out. I, today, I can feel the warmth of the sun. Normally, it's just like a decor. You can see the sun, but you can't feel the warmth. Today, today I can feel it when I'm in the house. Um, and I feel like I should go outside and bask in the sun. I don't think I'll do that, though. I am... Um, 
compelled to record some short videos for Instagram. I don't want to. I just want to stay in bed and watch now that I'm so full. Anyway, I don't know whether I'll do it, but the sun is out. When the sun is out, videos look really, really good. And I'm so glad I recorded this vlog today because I was this close, this close to convincing me not to record this vlog. But I'm glad I did. I hope it's been fun. And yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think about this vlog. Let me know what kind of content um, we think I should be doing outdoorsy content. Let me know what you like about this vlog. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I will see you in my next vlog. This out.